26.5 million Americans have sought unemployment benefits over the last five weeks, confirming that jobs gained during the longest employment boom in U.S. history have been wiped during the coronavirus pandemic. The jobless claims report show that it only took five weeks for the U.S. economy to erase all the job gains since the Great Recession. Germany's aggressive response to the coronavirus pandemic has been praised, but Chancellor Angela Merkel is worried that Germans are relaxing their physical distancing efforts after governments agreed to reopen some shops this week. Niemand hört es gerne, aber es ist die Wahrheit. Wir leben nicht in der Endphase der Pandemie, sondern, sondern immer noch an ihrem Anfang. Wir werden noch lange mit diesem Virus leben müssen. Worshippers in Israel and the Palestinian territories are preparing to begin the holy month of Ramadan without visits to mosques or festive communal meals as the Islamic world struggles to balance the demand of religion with public safety during the coronavirus pandemic. In the West Bank, the Palestinian Authority has declared a state of emergency, but a full lockdown has been eased in recent days to allow some businesses to resume partial operations. Two pet cats have tested positive for the coronavirus, the CDC announced on Wednesday. It's the first time the virus has been found in domestic animals in the United States. But the U.S. top health official on infection diseases said that owners should not fear their pets. There's no evidence that the virus is transmitted from a pet to a, to a human. Now, obviously, is that impossible? I mean, biologically, you know, anything is possible, but there's no evidence whatsoever that we've seen from an epidemiological standpoint that pets can be transmitted within the household. As stores have closed across Japan during a state of emergency, some pachinko parlors remain defiantly open, sparking concern the gambling halls could undermine the government's fight against the novel coronavirus. Japan imposed a state of emergency in Tokyo and six other areas on April 7th, then extended it to the nation last week. Japan's economy minister said that the government is considering a next step against pachinko parlors that do not comply with the new measures. Children confined to their homes under lockdown are drawing what they miss most. Friends at school, grandparents, football and green open spaces. From Tokyo to Buenos Aires and New York to Kathmandu, the themes are often the same. Thanks for watching. To stay up to date on the latest breaking national and international news, be sure to subscribe to our channel.